Oh, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of December. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Leo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Three of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so your biggest challenge, Leo, here is the Three of Pentacles. I'm feeling with the Three of Pentacles, there's definitely something here about cooperation, a lack of cooperation, maybe finding it hard to cooperate with other people. Uh, we're going to clarify this and see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like in the recent past, you really tried to make something work here. Even though it may have seemed very unstable and you were very quick to give up on it, there was a strong energy of, I'm still gonna hold on to this. Even though it's been very difficult for me, I still wanna hold on to this. I hope that it can get better. We're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the temperance, the queen of wands in reverse and the star. So the queen of wands is in reverse, which is super rare. Um, so this could be about you choosing to withdraw or disconnect from someone or disconnect from a situation. And there's definitely a strong energy here of things taking time. Things are not moving maybe as quick as you want them to. And it's interesting because Mars is still retrograde. Mars is gonna be retrograde for, I believe until the end of December, mid January. So you may be very much influenced by that considering that Mars is related to Aries, which is a fellow fire sign to you. In the present moment, the star is here. So you're very much focused on the future. You're very much focused on healing. You're very much focused on kind of getting back into this place of withdrawing your energy so that you can make sense of the future. And we're gonna talk more about that for you in a moment. In the near future, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the Empress. So it looks like in the near future, there's a really strong energy of finding out or telling the truth. Okay, you may be telling someone like it is, this is what it is, it is what it is here. And you have the nine of swords as well. So there's a bit of anxiety, stress and fear in the near future, which probably is very much connected to the, tr the truth finally being told and revealed. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the five of pentacles in reverse. So there's definitely this energy of going back to something that doesn't really hold the type of value that you're looking for. Okay, there's a reason why someone is coming back either you're coming back or somebody is coming back to you and this is very much unexpected and we're going to talk more about that for you in a moment now let's hop into your reading and let's see what's going on for you okay let's clarify the three of pentacles So the three of pentacles is clarified by the 10 of pentacles, the world and the 10 of cups. So your biggest challenge has a lot to do with the fact that although something here seems like it's done, it's over, this could be a job, it could be a relationship, it can be a family situation, even though it seems like this situation has been di very difficult and it may be coming to an end or something that you believe will come to an end. It has a lot to do with the fact that something here is requiring you to collaborate or work together with other people. And it's been very difficult to do that. Okay, that's why it's part of your challenge. So with the 10 of Pentacles here and the 10 of Cups, when this situation comes to an end, there's a lot to lose here, okay? And that's why you have to be really careful in December because as much as something here may become very difficult for you, there is an opportunity here to find a chance to collaborate or work with other people, which 
is going to ultimately help you to get to this place of happiness, to get to this place of abundance. So your biggest challenge, Leo, here is not to be quick to end something or close something out, but trying to find ways where you can find and have the assistance of others. Okay. So collaborating, coming together, working together is going to be a very big, important theme for you, especially if you want to increase your finances or if you want more love and happiness in your life, it is going to involve other people. Okay. And being open to that and trying to work through that instead of just bringing something here to an end is what spirit is asking you to do. Okay. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is clarified by the seven of cups, the eight of pentacles and the queen of wands. Yes. So in the recent past, like I said, you tried to work something out here, something that became overwhelming, burdensome, uh, something that led to, you know, tons of options or confusion here. I'm getting more of tons of options with the seven of cups. And it's almost like as much as you tried to work on this situation, even though it started to become confusing and difficult, it looks like you didn't give up on it. And as a result of that, you still hold on to the, you still held on to the situation, even though it may have seemed or started to become very difficult for you. Tell me more about the four of pentacles for Leo in the recent past. You have the judgment, the high priestess and the page of wands. Some of you decided, even though you still held on to this situation that started to become very difficult, there's something here, Leo, about you deciding to move into a new direction. Intuitively, you may have felt, you know what? It's time for me to move into a new direction. Some of you may have started planning to move into a new direction after an, you know, a job or after some sort of confusing situation in the past. So even though you still held on to this, there was still this energy of, oh, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to have some sort of new beginning here in the past. Okay. Now in the present moment, you're withdrawn. There's something here that's not going well for you. Okay. That's why you're withdrawn here. You're kind of closed off. Let's clarify the temperance and see why the temperance is here for you, Leo, in the present moment. You have the three of wands, the knight of wands and the four of pentacles. Yeah. So there's definitely this on and off energy in the present moment. And I feel like this could be you, you know, on and off inconsistent here, or it could be someone that you're dealing with. There's a strong energy, Leo, of you wanting to move on. You want to move forward, but it's been very difficult maybe to do this because you're still holding on to something that's been holding you back. And I do see that a lot of time has passed here where there's been some sort of inconsistency or instability. And I feel like this is very much connected to the queen of wands in reverse. Tell me more about the queen of wands in reverse for Leo. You have the nine of cups, the three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. So yeah, I I'm really strongly getting in the present moment. There's something here about dealing with other people and working with other people. And a lot of you may not realize this, but whoever it is you're trying to collaborate with or work with, this person can really, or these people can really bring a lot of success to you, a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunity, but there's also a very strong selfish energy in the present moment. There's a strong energy of, I only care about myself. I'm going to overindulge in myself. My priority is myself. And that's why your challenge here is the three of pentacles, because for many of you right now, you're being called to find a way to collaborate with certain people. Okay. Instead of withdrawing yourself or closing yourself off. And that may be something really difficult for you, especially if you've had issues in the past related to other people. Okay. Cause it looks like something here is coming to an end and it may affect your, um, finances. It may affect your, you know, your love situation. So what's happening in the present moment with the star? Cause the star is showing up and the star is all about our future. It's all about what we're planning on doing or how we're planning on healing from situations in our life. We have the 10 of swords, you have the moon, and you also have the eight of swords. So as you can see here right now, there's a very strong energy of wanting something to come to an end. It's been extremely difficult. A lot of you are dealing with someone who feels isolated. They constantly feel isolated. They constantly feel like, you know, how they feel their emotions are always constantly hidden. Somebody here just doesn't feel like they're being heard. 
emotionally on a deep level. So there's fear here that because the future isn't clear, because there is a lack of really knowing what's going to happen in the future in the present moment, it's leading to some sort of ending. And this can resonate in any form, way, way, shape or form in your life. Okay. So this is why there's some sort of inconsistency in the present moment. And you've been withdrawn. You've been completely withdrawn and disconnected uh, from this situation, especially when it comes to the future. It's like, what's going to happen in the future? Where are we going? What's going to happen? How is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? So there's a lot of uncertainty in the present moment about the future. And the less cooperative you are with certain people or individuals, the more there is the lack of clarity and inconsistency. Okay. Now let's talk about the near future. Now in the near future, there is some sort of anxiety and fear surrounding something. And we're going to talk about that in a moment, but first I want to clarify the ace of swords. I feel Leo, you're going to find the truth out about something in the future. And it's really going to help you see what needs to happen next. Okay. Tell me more about the ace of swords. You have the devil, the seven of swords and the two of cups. Okay. I'm just going to put this out there. It's not going to resonate with everyone. There's something here about finding the truth out about a relationship that you're involved in. There's a lack of trust in the near future because something here becomes toxic within your relationship. Okay. And in the near future, it's going to be very clear what's toxic and what needs to change. Because as you may not know with the nine of swords, there's a lot of fear and anxiety. Okay. Surrounding this nine of pentacles in reverse. Some of you are very dependent or reliant on this person or they're reliant on you. Okay. You have the king of wands and the five of pentacles. It's interesting because even though in the near future, it looks like this person's disconnecting, they end up coming back around again, you or your person. Somebody here ends up coming back around because they start to realize how much they need the other person. Okay. Tell me more about the Empress. Chariot, Hierophant, and the Magician. So even though you are married or committed to someone, it looks like you and this person are going to end up moving forward. I do see in the near future a, a temporary separation, okay, a period of kind of disconnecting. But like I said, what you don't see coming is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here ends up coming back anyways, okay? So even though it seems like, you know, you and this person are going to separate, you're never going to be together anymore, something here is coming to an end, that's temporary, okay? Two of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So there's a big lesson to learn here. I think in December, um, you really need to pay attention to your partnerships, the people you're dealing with, the people you're working with, are these people that you see yourself collaborating with and ultimately being with long-term. Okay. So you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands and the Hermit. So there's a really strong energy here, Leo, of needing to determine what it is that you want to do. Your biggest piece of advice here is about recognizing whether or not something here is appropriate to act on at this time. Is it appropriate to make decisions now? Is it appropriate to take action now? Your biggest piece of advice is to contemplate the situation. Don't do anything rash. Okay. Cause a lot of you may do something without thinking and it may lead to a disappointment. It may lead to something here, not happening the way that you want it to. So your biggest piece of advice here is to take your time. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. You are the Knight of Wands. But surrounding that are two very slow moving energies. The hermit is very slow moving. The hermit does a lot of contemplating and thinking before taking action. And the knight of pentacles is someone who's constantly armed. Okay. As you can see with the knight of pentacles, they're constantly, you know, guarded and covered and they're protecting themselves. So there's something here about taking your time, thinking about decisions and thinking about, you know, who you're going to disconnect from, who you're not going to disconnect from. Is this person worth working through, you know, things with, because it looks like whoever this person is that you're ending things with a lot of their, a lot of your happiness and abundance comes from this partnership and collaboration. Okay. So think twice before acting quickly in December and take your time. Okay. When making decisions, why? Because Mars is still retrograde. I know a lot of us just want to take action. We're like, I just want to take action. I want to get things done, but doing more contemplation and planning is going to be more 
important to you so that you don't rush into doing something haphazardly and end up regretting it, okay? So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.